Dear Derek, I've uh, been told that there is kind of difficulty regarding filling out the form. Basically, this form is created to save time for your team, our team, and gathering information. Uh, for example, uh, the, you go to this uh, particular form and uh, you try to complete the form. Um, by doing so, you just click and you put the, the, the date that it is today's date. For example, we are going to put it on the 13th. And um, project name would be Vaco Texas. And uh, project type, based on what you know, is going to be uh, a standalone office or circuit extension or something, or a sim simple service ticket. The service ticket, it says, uh, we need to check the cable number 36 for, uh, for continuity, for, for uh, connectivity, connectivity. Okay. Now, uh, site complete address, usually uh, when we ask for a site's complete address is something like uh, we can use to drive, in this case would be 100 ways, and uh, a square foot of this, the reason we are asking is, we want to see if you're going to a small office or we're going to a larger office. You can always estimate these things, say, uh, say a thousand square feet office. Uh, this also help us to do our budgeting for the cable. In a thousand square feet office, our cable run are 100 feet, 150, they're not going to be 200. Senior PM names, in this case, is the person in charge of the project, in this case could be a Scott. And uh, in your case, when we ask for this, it's going to be you. And you just basically kind enough to, to just put your name here. We have many PMs that we are working with, therefore this could be different people at different time. Uh, your phone number, you be kind enough as you usually do. You put it right here. And, um, and uh, uh, your email address is here. You might say, David, this is all, uh, just a bit too much. But remember, we are working with 5, 6 p.m. Now, on-site p.m., uh, you mentioned in this particular case, it's going to be Peter, and you have been kind enough to give me a phone number. This way, Julio is able to go ahead and call these people, make sure they're not surprised as we show up on-site. Now, uh, you're kind enough to provide with an uh, email address. Now, we need the building manager name here. Why? Because we get a contact her also or him and if there is no need you can just say no need this means you don't want us to pull insurance if you want us to pull insurance you just place the name building manager phone number or the uh, the building manager address in many instances building manager does not live in the same address as the project and that's the reason we need to have that we definitely need the email address and uh, to be able to send the uh, insurance certificate to them. We need to know when you want to start the project. We need to know when you want to finish the project. These are very standard this stuff. Now, once you've uh, done this thing, and I'm going to close this, uh, project time, you want an eight to five, you want an after hours. That's, you can tell us. If you attach a floor plan, please put it. You want a certificate of insurance, please click here. And as you go forward, you might say, David, I have floor plan that I can share with you. You can simply click here and insert, insert the uh, floor plan anywhere you want. And also you might say, David, I have different drawing that I want to give you. Just go ahead and click and give us a different drawing. As you see, it's going to get loaded and so on and so forth. And then when you submit it, you can click here that you receive a copy of this yourself. In this case, I'm going to put Julio because I don't want you to receive a dummy project. You might want to hear even put a Scott's address and so on and so forth. Uh, you might want to mention that why do we have a Scott's name here is because at the end of the story, we got to send the invoice to somebody out there. In this case, always being a Scott's. By submitting this, uh, to us, basically what you're going to see is you're going to see that we are going to receive the third line that you are here 
correct? Everybody gets an email regarding this. And uh, we are going to go ahead and go to the edit mode and see exactly what you have. Our team basically uses this information to a schedule and uses the same information to communicate and be able to go on site. And once it's completed, they go here and they set the completion one of this status. I'm going to delete this thing with your permis permission. And uh, by deleting this, basically, we're... now we, the projects that we are doing right now for you is all here. And as you notice, when we get to building manager, building manager address, all those things, we don't have it. Uh, if you want us, we can do it. It takes some time, like it takes some sometimes for you. It takes some time for us. And if you allow us to include those time inside our uh, reporting, we'd be more than happy. Either you guys do it or we do it, doesn't matter. If you want, just let us know that uh, we got to get the information and we will do. I hope this is uh, uh, complete enough and you uh, uh, accept it. And if you have a question, please give me a call.